So if you followed any of Donald Trump's White House press briefings with respect to COVID-19, you know that he talks a lot about a drug known as hydroxychloroquine, which is used uh, traditionally to treat malaria and lupus. And there was never really any evidence to suggest that this is actually an effective treatment of COVID-19, but it's currently being determined through studies whether or not this can be used as a preventative drug to stop people who are at high risk of contracting the virus of uh, stopping them from getting it. We don't, we don't know yet. It's inconclusive. But with that being said, he recently stated that he is currently taking hydroxychloroquine. And um, I'm going to play a clip for you, and then I'll share my thoughts on this. And a lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. Hydroxychloroquine? I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, I'll tell you right, I'm not going to get hurt by it. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Excuse me. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. Now, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. Alrighty then. I don't know what to say about that. Part of me doesn't really believe him because he lies every five seconds. But at the same time, does Trump seem like the type of person to be a guinea pig when it comes to a drug if he truly believes in it and, you know, he's drunk in the Kool-Aid for whatever reason, uh, putting aside any monetary connection that he may have with the uh, drug manufacturers? Sure. So it's totally believable that he would do something like this. But at the same time, I don't necessarily know. Maybe he's just trying to promote this drug more and say, look, I'm taking it and I'm doing fine. So other people should take it as well. It's so difficult to tell if he's telling the truth. And it's just, it's weird. Would I be doing something like this? Um, absolutely not. I don't want to be a guinea pig for any drug. And, um, you know, for him to do this, it just... It, I find this hard to believe because you think that the people around him would say, no, Mr. President, you, you shouldn't take this drug. We don't necessarily know if there are any risks associated with this. But nonetheless, he claims he's taking it. Um, all right. So if you're going to be a guinea pig, might I suggest you try to maybe uh, take your own advice and inject disinfectants, <laughs> bleach? I don't care. Like if Trump wants to take this and risk his own ass, I'm fine with it. Go ahead. Got no love for you. You've murdered a lot of people in the Middle East and North Africa using drones. So I don't care if you harm yourself. Like, fine, whatever. You're a terrible human being. Have at it. But for those of you wondering, okay, the president's doing it. Maybe I should try doing this as well. We don't have conclusive evidence that this actually will prevent you from contracted, contracting COVID-19. Now, the thing about this drug is that it comes with a lot of side effects. I believe my sister was on this, a generic version of it, for lupus at a time, and she stopped because of the side effects. They were they were extreme. Um, so there there's no conclusive reason to believe at this point in time that it will stop you from contracting uh, COVID-19. And here's what the experts are saying. As NPR's Joe Palka reports, medical experts have urged caution around the drug, and last month, the FDA strongly warned against using hydroxychloroquine without medical supervision, such as in a hospital or as part of a clinical trial. Although researchers have been skeptical of hydroxychloroquine's role in treating COVID-19, there is more enthusiasm about its potential to prevent infection. That's because multiple studies have shown that the drug can prevent coronavirus replication. Two such studies are currently underway. One is being conducted by scientists and physicians at the University of Minnesota and will involve 1,500 volunteers at high risk for contracting COVID-19, either because they are healthcare workers or live with someone who has the disease. The study is actively recruiting high-risk healthcare workers and first responders from around the United States. That study began clinical trials on April 6th to determine whether hydroxychloroquine is effective at preventing infection from SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes the disease COVID-19. The other is a multi-center study led by Duke University that is also aimed primarily at healthcare workers. It aims to enroll 15,000 volunteers. Neither study has released any results. Dr. David R. Bulware, a medical professor, 
professor who launched the University of Minnesota study said there is no data that using hydroxychloroquine as a pre-exposure prophylaxis is effective. It may be. It may not be. We do not know, he told NPR. The only way I would recommend taking hydroxychloroquine is within a clinical trial, he said. So if you're going to take hydroxychloroquine as part of a clinical trial, that matters, right? That makes a difference because they're constantly monitoring you. And if they have, if you have any side effects that you're experiencing, they can treat you. They can look after you. So this is part of the reason why I don't necessarily know if I believe Donald Trump. I mean, certainly he can have a lot of medical ex experts around him, but are they really going to be monitoring him? Does he have time as president? to, you know, um, constantly check in and they can see if he's having side effects and if so, manage them. I mean, he does spend hours a day watching Fox News, so maybe. I just, I don't necessarily know. I don't care if Donald Trump is taking hydroxychloroquine, but what I don't want to happen is people to, you know, rely on something that they believe would be a cure if there's not sufficient evidence. Like, there is, believe it or not, a large contingent of people online who believe in really kooky things that are harmful to their own health. Like, there is a uh, contingent, which it almost says like cult-like on YouTube, of people who believe that drinking trace amounts of bleach is going to help he heal you of numerous medical conditions. And this is so harmful. This is damaging. You don't want people to get the wrong information or ideas about what will actually improve their health if it could be damaging. So, this is why the only negative effect of Trump saying this is that it may encourage people to kind of take their lives into their own hands with regard to medications and try to do some type of weird, you know, I don't know, bogus experiment on themselves or take something that isn't necessarily healthy for them. But with that being said, I do not care at all if Trump is taking hydroxychloroquine. Have at it. If you want to take this shit, take it. It doesn't matter to me if Trump takes it and experiences side effects. Who cares? I don't care about Donald Trump. What I care about is the impact that him promoting this drug or, you know, something that may not necessarily be a good treatment will have, you know, because if you're the president, everyone is watching what you do. Um, so I, I shouldn't have to explain like why we have to be adults when it comes to this, why we shouldn't believe, you know, conspiracy theories about healthcare, why we should do everything in our power to make sure that people, they only do something or take a particular drug having complete information. Um, so that's the only like negative thing that could come about this. But with that being said, like, again, we're all adults here, right? We have to be adults. So if Trump wants to take it, have at it. But just don't think that because he's doing this, you know, you should try something stupid. I, I don't know. But, you know, if he wants to do it, fine. I don't care. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.